After lots of you found my first AI tool video super helpful, I spent again hours over hours testing the best AI tools for productivity, updated for 2024. And again, I found AI tools that literally save you hours, day to day, and give you more time for the things that really matter in life. From automated calendar optimization, the most efficient way to handle emails, to a second mind and a human-like conversational AI. I'm super excited to share them with you. So with no further ado, here we go. So the first AI tool is called Reclaim AI. What it does, it literally reclaims your time by optimizing your calendar so you can focus on getting things done without having to worry much about scheduling. So it automatically schedules the best time for you to do certain tasks, all optimized with the help of AI. All you have to do to get started is to head to their website and sign up. Then you simply connect your Google Calendar and then you're ready to go. Currently, it only works with Google Calendar, but since a lot of people use it anyways, it shouldn't be a problem. And now comes the magic. Reclaim AI allows you to get the best balance of both worlds, professional and personal life. You can connect, for example, your personal and work calendar, and then it creates a new main calendar, which is perfectly in sync with all your commitments and meetings. But hey, your coworkers don't need to see your personal appointments, right? Well, no problem, because Reclaim AI allows you to create separate views for your coworkers. That way they can see all your availabilities for work without seeing all the private stuff. Alone this is so powerful and saves endless rescheduling and manual calendar syncing. But now another powerful feature. In case Reclaim AI notices any conflicts or better ways to scheduling your tasks, it automatically moves them if you wish so. Another feature I love about this tool is that you can schedule certain recurring habits you want to stick to every week. We all know it can be hard sometimes to get them in your tight schedule. Reclaim AI allows you to define priorities and how aggressively you want to defend them from other tasks. Then Reclaim AI will plan your week accordingly and tries to fit them in as best as possible. The same also works with tasks from your to-do lists. So pretty cool. It can create time blocks and make sure you won't miss anything. I also love that they integrated the option to schedule meetings with links. This is nothing new, but it's so great to have this in the toolbox without having to use any other software. Simply share the link and your coworkers or clients and friends can choose a time when you're available. And to round all of the features up, you can also define buffer times between meetings or appointments that can be used for commuting or taking breaks. This makes sure you never ever over schedule and forget about your breaks again. Reclaim AI has lots of more features such as a calendar planning, time tracking and many more. Simply have a look on your website, your Let's move on to the next tool. I guess we all have the problem that we are receiving endless emails and are trapped in a never-ending inbox. Luckily, the next tool can solve all of that and get you to inbox zero in no time. But not only that, it can also save you countless hours with its smart AI features. It's called Superhuman and it's an AI-powered email platform that honestly changed the way how I approach emails. Superhuman works with a concept called inbox zero. This means your goal is always to have no emails in your inbox. New emails are always approached with the question, do I need to do this today, in the future, or I'm done with it? Depending on that, you reply right away, set a reminder when to get back to it, or mark an email as done and it gets archived. Reminders are super useful. They can be used to snooze emails or to check in if you haven't heard from someone back. This concept already saves me so much time. But now let me get to Superhuman's powerful AI features that truly make you a superhuman. First of all, the times are over when you had to go through long emails. That's because Superhuman gives you an instant AI summary of your emails when you hit the keyboard shortcut M. This is so useful because you literally need five seconds to know what an email is about. But that's not all. If you want to reply to an email, you don't even have to write it anymore because Superhuman's instant reply feature already suggests you different reply options and has entire emails ready for you. Simply select how you want to reply and voila, AI does all the magic for you. Or you can also hit the shortcut Command plus J and briefly write how you want to reply. Then AI will write the email outline for you. Honestly, this is an entire game changer and makes it so fast to get back to important emails. Another super useful features are snippets. They allow you to save common emails as template and whenever you need them, you simply hit command plus semicolon. You can also set placeholders for things like name, reason and so on. You have probably already noticed a lot can be done with shortcuts. And yeah, right, in Superhuman every feature has a shortcut so you can navigate emails super fast and save time. There's also Superhuman command if you hit command plus K. 
This search bar recognizes natural language and gets done everything you want. Unsubscribe from my newsletter? No problem. Label an email? Also, that goes with ease. So overall, superhuman is how modern email should look like in my opinion. It's responsive, fast and packed with the AI features that make your life a hundred times easier. So I highly recommend you to check it out. By the way, if you want to look further into superhuman or any of the other tools mentioned in this video, simply go to the video description and access all links quickly. Some of those links are affiliate links, so if you want to support my channel, that's a great way to do that. And if you found this video helpful so far, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with new productivity tools, just like the ones mentioned in this video. Where Superhuman helps me to not forget about my emails, the next tool literally remembers everything. My mind calls itself the extension of your mind. And that is really true in my opinion. See, you've likely heard of the second mind concept. So to capture every bit of information in some sort of database, so your brain doesn't have to remember it. Well, Awesome concept, but often we don't end up doing it because all information we save needs to be organized and structured somehow. And that takes time. And that's exactly the problem that my mind solves. Because all you need to do here is to right click and save it to your mind. That's it. All the organization is done by my mind's AI. And later, if you want to access any of those, simply search a keyword that comes to your mind. The great thing, this works with all types of information. Articles, videos, images, products, quotes, you name it. To get started, you simply sign up on their website and install their browser extension. And welcome to your minds! To save now anything, simply mark a text passage or a quote and right-click to save it. If you want to save an entire page, simply click on the extension icon. If you go now to your account, you will find all the information you saved. And as a design lover myself, let's agree that it did such a good in UX design. It looks just beautiful. My mind saves all information in a visual appealing way. Quotes are for example saved with quotation marks, products are saved with product pictures, articles are saved as articles, and tweets are saved as tweets, and so on. So if you now click on any of those, you will find of course the link, but also other things such as the title and keywords and tags that it took automatically from the site. The powerful feature here is My Mind Search. You can search for literally anything and it will give you a super fast and accurate result. You can also detect text and pictures or handwriting and understand various contexts. That's always the power of AI. This literally feels a bit like actually searching in my mind for memories. There are also more advanced ways of filtering and you can even save certain filters as smart spaces. This could be for example used for books you have read or reference pictures for your new design project. Overall, my mind is super powerful, so I'd recommend you to give it a try. Okay, let's move on to the next tool. It's called Barely and is an AI assistant like ChatGPT. But hold on, it's a bit more tailored towards research and serious use cases. But what makes it different to ChatGPT? Well, first of all, it runs as a desktop application, so it's right at your fingertips with one shortcut. That's definitely very useful because often I'm simply too lazy to go to the ChatGPT website. Second, if you make a backslash, you find suggestions for predefined prompts. And that's super useful because often you have prompts that you use over and over again. It also gives people that are unexperienced with prompt engineering good results. There are different categories such as writing, reading, marketing, and so on. Barely also has a prompt marketplace where you can install other use case specific prompts, such as business model canvas or contextual learning. And if you're good at prompt writing, you can save your own prompt templates right here. What I also like about Barely is that you aren't tied to one AI model. You have access to GPT-4, Claude, Gemini, Mistral and many more. This makes absolutely sense because certain models are just better at certain tasks than others. And depending on the use case, you can simply choose the one that fits the best. Barely also lets you access things like image generation, video and audio transcription, document interaction and web search requests. It also has plenty of configuration options, so you can customize Barely for your own needs. Overall, Barely is a great AI tool that makes the use of an AI assistant way more accessible. Okay, my next tool is for everyone who does video editing out there, and it will blow your mind. I guess you know how much time it can take to cut out all the dead spaces and mistakes from a recording. Luckily, a couple of weeks ago I found a tool called Gling and it works just so good and has saved me hours since I started using it. And it's so easy to use. Just download the Mac application and then simply drag and drop your video file. Now you have the option to select if you only want to cut out silences or also bad takes. What I love about Gling is that it's so fast and doesn't take ages to upload files like often other tools do. After you get a text transcription of your video and you can further adjust the cuts it made. But honestly most of the times it does already a pretty good job so there isn't even much adjustment required. If it is, simply select the text area and click on cut. 
It's so fast and not a best thing. Gling allows you to export the pre-cut as an XML file for all major editing software such as DaVinci, Final Cut and Premiere. This XML file can be imported and you get a timeline with all the cuts Gling made, which means it appears exactly the same as you would have done it in your editing software, without any quality loose of your video. I'm using Gling now to pre-cut all my videos and it works just so well. Pretty good job that the team at Gling did out there. Our next tool on the list is great for everyone who wants to get a quick understanding of historical key events. It's called MyLens AI and has two main features. First, you can create mind maps. Well, that's nothing that new, so let's rather focus on the second feature. Because MyLens AI allows you to create timelines about any topic. So let's say you need to briefly talk about the evolution of the smartphone in a presentation. You can simply enter that prompt and MyLens AI will give you a graphical timeline with all the key events that are relevant. And now you could put this timeline straight onto your presentation. Or you simply use it to get an overview for yourself. I found it super useful because it saves a lot of time compared to manually going over to Wikipedia, filtering out all the information, writing down highlights and so on. MyLens AI makes this so much easier. I think especially for students this could be very very useful. Our next tool is a personal AI assistant, but it's a bit different than all the others out there. The focus here is on the word personal. It's called Pi and as the classic ChatGPT, their AI assistant can be used for many things. That's not really anything new. However, Pi's mission is to make AI more human and make it feel more like talking to a friend. That's achieved by a more human-like tone, extra realistic sounding voices and better accessibility. Besides your browser, you can also chat with Pi on Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, Discord, Telegram and many more. And if you're thinking now, oh well, that's just another customized GPT, well, it's not. Behind Pi is a company called Inflection and they are an own independent AI studio. Means they train their own large language model. And as it seems, Inflection 2.5 belongs to one of the best trained models out there besides GPT-4 and Gemini. I've tested Pi for a bit and have to say it's very impressive. When you chat with Pi on apps like WhatsApp, it really feels like you're talking to a friend. I like the idea of a personal AI assistant. I could totally imagine that Pi could act like a real person for people that are lonely or don't have anyone to talk to like for example older people. This could help to get more social interactions and reduce depression. But well, that's at least what I think. I guess we'll see in the future. Either way, give Pi a try and see what's possible these days. Okay, that's it. Those are right now my favorite AI productivity tools. I know it's a lot and you certainly don't have to use all of them. Just pick the ones you like. And if any tools sounded interesting to you, check out the links in the video description and access them right away. I'd be also interested which AI tools are you currently using. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel to not miss any future videos on AI tools and self-improvement. Until then, see you in the next one.